Hi. Now in this tutorial what I want to show you is how to prove that 1 minus cos theta over sine theta is identical to 1 over cosec theta plus cot theta. Now there's two ways that we could do this. We could either take the left hand side and prove that it's identical to the right or the right hand side show that it's identical to the left hand side. And what I'll do for you is I'll do it two ways. In this first video I'm going to go for taking this side first, the right hand side, purely because I feel that that's the easier side to work with. Although some of you might disagree, okay, so I'll leave that obviously up to you. But I'm taking this side. I feel it's easier because it's easy to turn cosec and cot into sines and cosines because you should know that cosec theta is 1 over sine theta so I'll write that in there and you should know apart from cot theta being 1 over tan theta that that's equivalent to cos theta over sine theta so I feel that I've got into this sines and cosines function that we've got to prove. The only problem is though I've got such a complex fraction here. It looks very messy. It's got kind of three levels here if you like. The one is on one level and then we've got this one and the cos theta on the next level and we've got these sine thetas on the next level. So when we've got something like this we need to tidy it up. We need to get rid of the sine theta and this sine theta here, these fractions. And to do that we employ the technique of multiplying by essentially 1. But how do we take our 1? Well whatever we have here we multiply top and bottom of the fraction by that sine theta. Sine theta over sine theta is 1. So we're not going to alter the value of the fraction because we're timesing it by 1 but we're going to alter the appearance of it. So what do we get? Well 1 times the sine theta up there is going to be sine theta and then underneath here we've got 1 over sine theta times this sine theta so if you have 1 over sine theta times sine theta they cancel and you're just left with the 1 so you've got 1 there. And when it comes to cos theta over sine theta being multiplied by this sine theta what happens is they cancel and you're just left with cos theta. So you've got 1 plus cos theta underneath here. Alright, we'll take that out now. Okay, so that's that. But we're still a long way from this result that we need to prove. How am I going to go from here? Well, again, we've got this problem of having a 1 minus cos theta on the top. And what I can do is I can force a 1 minus cos theta on the top by employing this idea of multiplying my fraction by essentially 1. This is quite a common technique when you're proving identities that have got fractions in. So just be aware of it. I'm going to times my fraction by 1 and that 1 is now going to be essentially 1 minus cos theta all over 1 minus cos theta. And what this will do for me is that it puts a 1 minus cos theta in the top here. So what I've got on the top is sine theta being multiplied by 1 minus cos theta. So that part's looking good, only we've got this sine theta here that's in the way. We'll hold back from that for the moment. But what we've got on the bottom is essentially 1 plus cos theta being multiplied by 1 minus cos theta. And this is a well-known pattern structure. It's often called the difference of two squares. When we multiply this out, we're going to have the cosine thetas cancelling out. You'll see, look, you get 1 times 1, which is 1. 
you get 1 times minus cos theta which is minus cos theta and then you get cos theta times 1 which is plus cos theta and finally cos theta times minus cos theta is minus cos squared theta and these cosine thetas cancel one another out they give a zero so you're left with 1 minus cos squared theta on the bottom so on the top you've got sine theta times 1 minus cos theta and on the bottom you've got 1 minus cos squared theta now what is 1 minus cos squared theta we should recognize this instantly but if not okay make sure you try and learn this particular structure 1 minus cos squared theta it comes from the well-known identity sine squared theta plus cos squared theta is identical to 1 and if you were to subtract cos squared theta from both sides here you'd end up with sine squared theta is identical to 1 minus cos squared theta so as I say you should know that 1 minus cos squared theta is identical to sine squared theta so if I was to write that in for the bottom we'll copy out the top we've got that okay now it's all divided by what is sine squared theta and now we've got one term on the top one term on the bottom made up of factors and we've got a common factor here of sine theta and a common factor here of sine theta sine theta sine theta if you cancel out one of the sine thetas it's just going to leave you with a sine theta underneath and so we end up with 1 minus cos theta all divided by sine theta all right which is what we had to prove so quite tricky with this idea here and here okay but uh, hopefully you can see your way through this